What's up guys, in this tutorial we're going to build a security camera which you can access anywhere in the world. But first, let's hit the intro. For build this security camera, we need a USB to TTL module which I'm using FTDI series. Also we need a ESP32 camera and beside these modules, we need some wire and having a breadboard around would be nice. For first step, let's start with Angrok account. First visit the official website which I leave the link in the description below. On the right corner you can see sign up and login. In my case I don't have an account so I click on sign up. If you have a registered account, feel free to use login. In this page you can use your information to sign up or either way use your github or google account for easy and fast login. At this time your account is ready to use. In this panel we have some information like your token key which we need in future. For programming your ESPCAM module, you need a USB to TTL because these modules didn't have built-in serial converter. For wiring your modules, you need to use RX and TX on both sides. RX from FTDI will be connected to TX on the ESPCAM and beside, TX on FTDI will be connected to RX. For power up your ESP cam, you should use VCC and GND of FTDI and connect those to 5V and also GND of ESP cam. For the last step, you should connect the GND to GPIO0 of ESPCAM. This connection will be removed when we are done with compiling the code. This code is a simple local stream program for ESP32 cam. Also, at this part you need to enter your Wi-Fi credential. For the next step you should choose your ESP32 model on the tools menu. In my case, I should choose the rover module. And the next step is choosing your correct COM port. As I mentioned before, after we done with the compiling the code, we have to remove the wire between GND and GPIO0. At the next step, for run the code, simply open the serial monitor on the Arduino IDE and hard reset the ESP cam. Now we have a local IP which we can use it to have a access to ESP cam web server. At the next step, you should download the Angrok software. Depends on the OS we should use. 
Now in the left panel you should copy your token key which we needed in the next step. In this step you should type few lines of command to set up your security camera. First line is ngrok auth token and your token key which we get it from ngrok website. Second and the last command is ngrok http and simply your local IP which we get it from serial monitor on Arduino IDE. And that's it, your security camera is ready to go. With following link you have full access to your local web server anywhere you are. Engrok is a cross-platform application that enables developers to expose a local development server to the internet with minimal effort. Similar performance can be achieved with reverse SSH tunneling, but this requires more configuration as well as hosting from your remote server. If you want to know more about this project and also access the code, you can check out my website cyphertech.net. I wrote a full tutorial about this project. Alright guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope it's been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like this video. It's make me happy. And see you guys in the next tutorial.